Previously on Starting Over, Christy tried to overcome the anger she felt towards her mother, but it wasn't easy. 30 years later, she doesn't get it, and that's when it comes in that I'm wasting my time. And Cassie returned to the house, hoping to try once again to be reunited with her son. My hope is for my son to know I want to reconnect with him. One house. I need a second chance. Women from all walks of life. Striving. Bonding. Reinventing themselves. This house changed my life. Starting over. Life has never been this real. Here. Morning, Do ladies. Busy, oh. busy, busy. What is we this? We got things to do. Oh my God! All right in the dining room, everybody. Look at you. All right, ladies. Huh? Have a seat. How are we this morning? <laughs> yes. Oh yes. Oh. Well, this is going to be so much fun. So today, I want to talk to you about men. I want to talk to you about your relationship with men. I want to talk about how you feel around men. Women tend to view men as a big mystery. I'm hoping that it will shed a new light for the women to really understand how they react and why it affects them so much. Um, how do men make you feel about yourself? Yes, Jody. I have realized that I have been picking men to validate me, so not In very healthy. Instead of enhancing you. Exactly. And what about if you're attracted to a man and he's not attracted to you? Then I feel rejected and unloved and unaccepted and I attack myself. Kelly, what about when you're around your husband? Um, I think probably my fears were, have always been um, that I'm going to appear weak if I let in, if I give in, if I don't stand my ground. Cassie, you and your relationship with men. <sighs> I always felt I always had to have a man in my life to make myself feel whole. And I was always, I would lose my identity. So you weren't just the way you were lovable or worth loving, mm -hmm. but you had to do something to get love. Right. Okay. My husband, I feel at times that he just doesn't even necessarily like me. But when I go out with my girlfriends and I meet other men, mm -hmm. they love the fact that I'm confident, that I'm so outgoing, that I'm just standing in myself and they think I'm funny and they tell me I'm pretty. So it's like, I feel like I get all that from other people. And they're like, gosh, darn, I'm so bummed you're married. And you know what I mean? And then with my husband, it's like I'm desperate for that. So we have all these expectations on our relationship and how they should make us feel about ourselves. Mm -hmm. So today, ladies, we're going to turn the tide. We're going to decide how we want to be with a man and how what we want to show them. What do you want to advertise about yourself? What do you want to share about yourself? What do you want to stand in when you're around a man? So many times, the women describe qualities they want to be known for, but they're not willing to show it. So today, I'm going to give them an exercise that will help them put those qualities on display so they can take ownership. You are going to make a t-shirt. You might write sexy, powerful, amazing, something that this is how you want to feel when you're with yourself around men. This is what you want to experience about yourself. This is what you want to stand in. This is what you want to know. This is what you want them to see in you. Then tonight, you're going to have an opportunity to talk to three men. Oh. And you must come up with questions. What do you really want to know about from a man's point of view? What are your thoughts about a man? What, what is it that you really want to know what they're thinking about? I want them to have the courage to ask the tough questions, the questions they've always wanted the answers to, but were afraid to ask. And you must wear your T-shirts. So why doesn't everybody grab a T-shirt? I want a long sleeve. Well, you better come and get it, Cassie. Whatever you want your husband and or okay. men to see. Okay. be the same thing. Because a man is a man is a man. That's a no. Give me a no. OK, ladies, you have your assignments. Thank you. Have a great time. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. 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 So 
who'd like to go first? My question is, what ma makes a man stray? A man, when he's wanting to stray, is because he's unhappy. If we're not happy, are going to start thinking about something that may make us happy. In any relationship, there are times when that person you're in relationship with, you're not, it, nothing's, nothing's happening there. And I know that if you think, oh, well, the, the thing to make me happy, my partner doesn't have it, so it's out there somewhere else, and you do that, that that's when you stray. So exciting having the men in the house and being able to really get nitty gritty with some questions. What does beautiful mean to you? There can be beauty at the physical level, at the mental level, at the emotional level, at the spiritual level. And in order to see that, if there's a resonance between two hearts, then so much more of that becomes visible. Every woman and every man has beautiful qualities, if you're willing to take the time and look. How important is it for a woman to have a good body? It's gonna depend a lot on the maturity of the guy. You know, you're gonna find a lot of guys who that's gonna be extremely important. The physical beauty was very important to me, but I was a young kid. But at the same time, the women, I, the women I dated, they all had some sort of spiritual element that was very important to me. And there were a lot of attractive women physically that absolutely I had no reaction to at all. How do you all express your love to your significant other? I tell my wife I love her, you know? She does the same thing for me, and, and that's, a, that's, that's, that's regular. It's about time, and it, when you make time, whether it's quiet time or athletic time or cuddle time, love-making time, I mean, it's, it's all about that time. What are your thoughts on coming home every day to a wife in sweats and flip-flops? <laughs> <laughs> love it. <Yeah. laughs> I met my wife at the gym. No makeup, flip-flops, sweats, just hanging around the house. Works for me. I wear flip-flops and jeans to work, so okay. I have no problem. <laughs> Is it still really that men still want that challenge? I mean, it's mm, still the cat and mouse kind of game. I find that there's sort of two stages early in the relationship. I think that the, the beginning stages for me is a get to know you. No game playing. Let's be real. And then there's a point in there somewhere where there's, there's enough interest on both sides and there's a little bit of fire starting that the roles change. Whether that includes a little bit of game playing or more, I think it's just playing, it, it is, it's playing. But it's not playing to, to try to one-up each other. I was never into the game. And when I met somebody who was into that game, it was always terrible. So, to answer your question, does the game exist and is the game out there? Absolutely. And do a lot of people subscribe to it? Yes. That's my opinion. Do you have to? No. What really stood out for me was realizing that whoever I decide to have in my life must really be on their journey of healing and be emotionally mature. How much did you live as the woman you want these men to see that's on your t-shirts tonight? Never fully. Maybe that was then. Yeah, it's different now. And we're always trying to get from the head to the heart, ladies. Many of our women, the women's greatest challenges is because they think too much and they don't let themselves feel. So we always make the connection, the head and the heart are one and the same, and that's what we want, the connection. For me, just an overall basic feeling is that it really demystified what I think about men and that they really are just as vulnerable and nervous and scared as we are and quite frankly really want the same things that a woman wants. I would like to thank you gentlemen for really giving of your heart tonight. You definitely weren't here you know, for anything else but to give these beautiful women an opportunity to get some of their deepest questions answered, maybe questions that caused them great pain in the past. And so I think tonight was not only informative and enlightening, it was also healing. So thank you for healing this house this evening with your courage and your manliness. <laughs> yeah.